Hey guys, Looney here, and welcome back to yet another video tutorial. Oh, sorry, plugin tutorial. So this, oh, in this tutorial, uh, obviously going on from our other projects, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go into our player listener. So the player listener that we will be doing, well, that, sorry, the handler that we'll, we will be adding is when a player places an item, uh, places a block. So it will be at event handler public void on p place. Uh, so for me that means on player place. Uh, I should really do on block place. In fact, coming to think of it, so on block. Place so it'll be place event. So let's go ahead and uh, find block place event e and then quickly bracket to open it. Uh, already imported block player event. So in here we want to do if and then p dot sorry. Um, let's in fact, let's change that to player dot has permission. So player dot has permission. And then the permission that it will be is tut dot block dot place um, so if they have that permission uh, let's just go ahead and do um, player p equals e dot get player and change that to p so let's go ahead and delete that my keep on rest up again so if p dot has permission uh, to dot block dot place then uh, e dot. Oh, in fact, we don't really want to do anything there. So, um, set cancelled false. Uh, that should set the cancel. Well, set the uh, place cancel or block cancel to false. Um, it's not really needed that little thing there, but if you want it, uh, you can obviously put it in. And my keyboard's messed up again. So let's also add another permission. So, tut dot block dot place. Oh, and one thing that I also forgot to do is we need to add an exclamation mark at the beginning. So if we go ahead and do a exclamation mark, which basically does the opposite. So if the player does not have permission, uh, then e dot set cancelled as true. And we're gonna go ahead and do. Um, oh, <laughs> this part is kind of like up to you. If you want to send the player a message, do p dot send message, and then the message that you want to send them or not. I'm not going to go ahead and send one because it's kind of annoying, and you shouldn't really have one for your hub. Uh, so if I go ahead and do export, because uh, well, no, no, we're not going to do export yet. We're going to do the uh, slash slash when player breaks. A block. So at event handler public void on uh, block break block break event e. So then again player p equals e dot get player and then if p dot has permission tut dot block dot break uh, then we want to do e dot set cancelled false and then in here else if uh, and then exclamation mark p dot has again the e dot set cancelled isn't really recommended in you guys putting it there um, it's not really needed to put it there but you know either way it should work um, it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it should work anyway. So e dot set cancelled. Uh, it's not e dot set. Uh, so uh, it's not e dot block. Uh, sorry, it's not e dot break cancelled. It's uh, set. Uh, no idea why, but it just does it. So that is it. So who actually went ahead and uh, installed a, um, a a permission manager? Uh, so if I quickly go ahead and 
uh, let's say I want group manager because I always use group manager so essentials in fact I'll go ahead and download that and I'll be back in a second Alright guys, so I got it installed. I can't remember if I actually um, exported our project, so I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Uh, next. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, finish. Yes. So if I go ahead and do launch. I'm not going to load up Minecraft yet, so go into plugins. Uh, I'm going to wait for Essentials Group Manager to load. There we go, so Group Manager, World, World, Groups. So the group that I'm going to go ahead and add the permissions to would be builder. So let's put um, tut dot block dot place and tut dot block dot break. So that's that. Save man load because that's the uh, the that's the command to reload it. So let me just load up Minecraft now. Go into the server. Got that lovely message. Uh, so, if I try to break a block, I don't have permission. Uh, if I gave myself something, and just to prove you guys, I can't break. Uh, there you go. I can't break. So, if I actually give myself, so give ngx the 64, and then if I try to place, you can see it's not allowing me to place because I don't have permission over here, and it's actually going back into here, uh, I'm not losing it, so that's that, so if I uh, did slash, actually I can't do it in here, so if I did man you add ngx to builder, so that's the group that I put it into, see that I can break, I can break blocks, and I can also place down blocks, I can break these blocks, but if I manually added myself to default again, you realize that I still can't break blocks even if they are my blocks that I've placed down so guys that is this permission and um, basically block uh, manipulation tutorial um, it's pretty simple guys and it is really good but if you didn't want anyone to break or place down blocks anyway don't do the um, else if player dot has permission uh, don't do it if they have permission or not just do e dot set cancelled on both of the event handlers and it will work uh, so then no one can place or break unless if you disable the plugin which plugin is actually a very good plugin uh, for that type of stuff so guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you have please leave it in as it really does help me out and if you have any troubles don't forget to, to tweet them at me don't comment them in this uh, comment section below um you could comment saying that i've or that you guys have a problem or not uh, as that will help out quite a lot uh, but yeah guys uh, that is it from me and i hope i see you next time see you guys